everywhere in the country people are talking about being a spectator to their lives. They went through the Gita and misunderstood the whole Gita <laughs> and people said, you be a spectator. Can you be a spectator? Invariably people will only misunderstand it. People cannot grasp it. <laughs> Because if you have to grasp Gita, you have to be a Krishna. At least an element of that should be there in you. Otherwise you have no clue what he is talking. You will only go by the words and come to wrong conclusions. I would say it is better for people to be confused than to be in wrong conclusions. If you are confused, you are still looking. There is a possibility. Taking on wrong conclusions, you will do idiotic things. Without knowing when you know, you are a dangerous person, isn't it? I don't know, he's not a bad state because it's a possibility. Without knowing when you think I know, you are a lost case, isn't it? If they get to know what is there, that would be wonderful. But the moment they read it, they think without knowing, they believe they know. I am not talking about you being a spectator, I am talking about involvement. I'm, a, I'm talking about involving yourself into life in such a way that you dissolve into it, not being a spectator. The spectator business you can talk when some small events are happening. When things that really matter to you happens, your spectatorship will break down, isn't it so? Yes or no? Something is happening to your neighbor, you can be a spectator. Now something that really matters to you is happening, can you be a spectator? Don't cook up philosophies. Can you be a spectator to your own life? Hmm? Can you be? No. So we are not talking about being spectators, we are talking about involvement. It's only with involvement you can know life, isn't it? Become so involved that there is no distinction between you and what is life. There is no such thing as me and my life. Me is life, life is me because you are so deeply involved in it. Now won't this hurt? It hurts. It can become terribly painful if you get identified with things that you are not. It is not your involvement which is hurting you, it is your entanglement which is hurting you always, isn't it? Your involvement is always giving you joy in every little thing that you do, isn't it so? See, just you want to sweep this hall, if you're deeply involved in this, it can be a very joyful thing. If, to, if you come to the ashram, if you are a PhD, we won't give you that kind of job. We will ask you to sweep the floor or wash the vessels or do something because we want you to learn to do the simplest things with utmost involvement. Because if you don't know involvement, in everything that you do, you will not know life. If you don't know life, question of becoming liberated doesn't arise. Only empty talk, isn't it? Only if you are based in life, going somewhere else is a reality. If you are not even rooted in your life, if you are going on with your own nonsense in your head, the question of becoming liberated or going beyond just doesn't arise.